everyone, this is Mindy Egan and welcome back to another video for My Favorite Things. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of Copic coloring and creating a background using Distress Mica spray stains. The first thing I'm going to do is stamp out the image that I'm going to use today. Now this is going to be from the stamp set Jingle Hugs which has this really cute image of a little girl with a reindeer. I placed some white cardstock in my Misty that is 80 pound and I'm going to stamp my image in the My Favorite Things Extreme Black Ink. I did put my hand over the stamp just to kind of prep it for stamping. This just gives me a cleaner stamped impression. And now I can move on to coloring my image with my Copic markers. So I already knew that I wanted her to be in this little Santa outfit. So I am using our 39, 35, and 32. I'm starting with my reds because for me, reds can be really finicky and I will most likely bleed somewhere where I don't want it. So I'm starting with the reds because then that's going to help me decide if I need to change up my color scheme a little bit. If maybe I need to make something green instead of white to help cover up any other red. I can also use a colorless blender if something kind of bled over the lines, but I could not find my colorless blender. So I had to kind of work with the color scheme instead. Now as far as light source, I am going to color everything as if my light source is on the right hand side. That just made it a lot easier for me to decide where my darkest areas are going to be, which is on the left hand side of each image. And then I moved on to the hair, which I used E29, 25, 17, and 33. And for the darkest color, which I used E29, I pretty much used the artist drawn lines to add in that shadow color first. And you'll notice I do turn my cardstock a lot. When I do flicks for hair, I tend to flick away from me. So in order to do that on some of these areas, I had to turn my cardstock around a little bit. And as I'm blending out with the remaining colors, that isn't so bad. I can just leave it uh, kind of in the normal orientation. But whenever I'm starting with my darkest colors for those flicks, it's just easier for me to rotate my cardstock. For her skin, I'm going to use E04, E11, and E01. I added that E04, which is the darkest color, right around the hairline because the hairline is going to cast that shadow down over the face. And then I just worked through the rest of the elements on her dress. So for the belt, I used C6 and C4. I did YR23 for the belt buckle. And then for the boots, I used C8, C6, and C4. And for the bottom of the boot or the sole of the boot, I used E29 and 25. I used the same color for the bells that I did for the belt buckle, which is the YR23. And then I moved on to the legs and the collar of the dress and I used G16 and G14. And that was one of the things I kind of changed my mind on. I wanted to leave them white, but since my red did bleed onto that collar a little bit, I just decided to color it green and it still works out with the whole Christmas theme that I have for my uh, image here. For the hooves of my reindeer, I used the C8, C6, and C4 just like I did for the boots. I did E11 for the antlers, and then I used R11 and R32 for the ears. Now for my deer here, my reindeer, I'm using E44, 43, 42, and 41. I would have went with more of, I guess, a traditional brown, but I didn't want it to blend in too much with her hair color, which is why I chose the E40s for the reindeer. And like I stated before, I have my light source coming in from the right hand side. And so that means my darkest color is going to be on the left hand side of the image. That is just what was making sense to me and just easier for me to color. So I didn't have to focus so much on exactly where shadows are going to be laying. That's just kind of always my go to is to have that light source on the right hand side. So after I have everything all blended out, I'm going to take the coordinating die and line that up over this image. I'll hold it in place with a low tack tape and then run this through my die cut machine and I'm going to start working on my background. For the background, I'll be using the Christmas greetings background. So this is a red rubber stamp. 
that means I'm going to remove the foam insert of my Misty stamping tool. And now I'm taking a piece of white cardstock that's 80 pound. I put a little bit of removable adhesive on the back and then lining this up over the background. And once I feel that that is straight, I'm going to close my Misty backwards to pick up that cardstock and it's going to be stuck to that scratch paper in my Misty tool. Now, one thing I would have changed in this is you may have noted I said I used 80 pound cardstock for this. I didn't even think about this when I was working on the background, but since I'm going to be spraying this, I really should have used a watercolor cardstock or a heavy stock cardstock because I'm spraying it, that liquid, it just works better with a heavy stock cardstock. The 80 pound, it still worked, but it was really wet and kind of bows a little bit. You may notice in my pictures or towards the end when I spray it. So it's just better to work with a cardstock that is meant to hold liquid. After I had stamped that background stamp in Versamark ink, I sprinkled on clear embossing powder and then melted that with my heat tool. So for the background, I am using Distress Mica Spray Stains. This is in Snow Flurries and Frosted Juniper was the other one that I showed. You want to make sure you're shaking these really, really well to make sure that all of that mica is mixed in. You could use really any sprays that you had, but I wanted to try this mica spray because it had so much shimmer to it. And then I'm just spraying this across the background. I love that snow flurries. That's the first one I sprayed. Now I'm going to bring in the frosted juniper. And I really should have swatched these out before I started. It wasn't quite working together the way I wanted it to. So I, I sprayed it. I left it. I'm going to just quickly dry this with my heat tool. And then I decided to bring in Hocus Pocus, which is still a mica spray stain. It's in this gorgeous purple. And I thought purple and blue works really well together for kind of wintry Christmas scenes. So I thought I'd go with that. Now, when you shake up your spray stains, I make, you know, made sure I left my cap on, which is good because this one for some reason was leaking. So thank goodness I did leave my cap on and was able to just kind of wipe off any of that spray that was starting to leak out of the bottle. So I sprayed that all across the background. You can see that the embossing is resisting that mica spray, which was good to know. I wasn't sure how that was going to work on the background. This was kind of an experiment for me. So while my background is drying, I took a piece of white cardstock that is four and a quarter by five and a half, and I die cut out that watercolor wash freeform die. Now I place this back in my Misty tool and I'm just stamping joyful greetings in the bottom corner. That greeting is off of the Jingle Hugs stamp set. Now I'm going to line the back of that with some foam tape to add a little bit of dimension. And off screen, I did create a card base for this that is going to be a top folding card. So then I could remove the backing of my foam tape and add this all to the front of the card. So I did attach the background with a tape runner and then the foam tape for that front panel. So this would also make a really good shaker card. And then here you can see all that shimmer and shine that is in that mica spray. So it was really cool for this background. Now for my image, I did line up some of it with foam tape and the rest with a tape runner. The reason for that is the tape runner is the part that's going to be adhered to the very front of the card. And then the foam tape just matches the foam tape that is on that window that I created. So it all is flat across the front. So that will finish off my card for today. I think these mica spray stains are really cool. They're really pretty and shimmery and just worked really well for a winter background. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you again real soon.